Hello and welcome to Business Profit Acceleration Group Coaching. Today, we're going to talk about, let me share my screen and jump right into marketing copy. This is one of the most important parts of marketing. A lot of times people make the mistake with their website or a flyer or a postcard and they talk about themselves. And so their credentials, their credibility, they want to get over the imposter system and they're, they're making it all about themselves. But the key to good copy is making it about the client and what problems do you solve for them? What's in it for them? And how can they get started working with you? Does anybody know who this picture is in the purple shirt? I've seen that guy. His I'm, name's I'm, Frank I'm... Kern. Okay. And he does, he is an absolute expert. Look him up, listen to him, buy his free stuff. Well, not buy, but opt in for his free yeah. stuff and see <laughs> how he says things. And there are other people that obviously do great copy, but he does multi-million dollar launches. And what I love about him is um, now his hair has, has thinned, he's older and um he has a different look like a short cropped more business-like look but i've seen him present and he wears flip-flops cool jeans with a little bit of flair at the bottom like you know not bell bottoms but just some cool flair and then a, a button-down shirt long hair a three-day growth and he's he's just cool he's in southern california he's a surfer dude and yeah. his target market is people that want to make money in online marketing. So copywriting is the key. And he's he's launched several um, products that are super helpful. I like I like him because he's cool. And his target market is these these guys that are they're kind of like Porky Pig. You know, they have a speech impediment. They're they're a little bit pudgy they've bought every class in the book and they still their wife is saying quit wasting money and and frank kern is 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 the guy that's cool and gonna befriend them and help them succeed and and become zorro become the hero and bring extra money to their family, to their relationship. And the wife sw starts swooning all of a sudden. So do you see how that, that whole picture, the, the avatar and making the client, the hero is just brilliant. So I love what he does. And here's a simple model for marketing copy. There's, there's different models out there, but most of them break down to this. An attention grabbing headline is the first thing you want to interrupt people from their busy day, from their phones, from their to do list, um, taking their kids to soccer. How do you grab their attention? So powerful mm -hmm. statements are really helpful for that. Qu powerful questions like got milk. And it. Uh, what are some good ones? Like, let's say for baby photography, don't, don't let these treasured moments go by, right? So you're already just with a few words grabbing their attention. What, and it builds curiosity too. So attention grabbing headline that, that builds curiosity to read what's next. And then you want to engage with them. So the next step is compassionately relate to their problem, their main problem. What gives them the most headaches? What do they lose? What do they wake up in the middle of the night losing sleep over that you could help them with? Like Anastasia, for you, blink and you miss it. I mean, how many parents say you blink and all of a sudden your child's 20 years old? Yeah, that's a big thing. Absolutely. In, in my business coaching, um, a problem could be as simple as it's lonely being a CEO. It's simple, but it's, it's true and it's painful. So having a coach that has their back, supports them, 
helps them grow their business, streamline their business, get free time to spend with their wife and kids, whatever's important to them. So you want to, to get to marketing copy, it's good to take each of these buckets and brainstorm pages of ideas. And I'm not saying this to be overwhelming because it can just flow and don't worry. Could be stupid ideas, could be silly ideas. The more creative you are, the better. And then go through and just highlight two or three of the main juicy ones. So the next step is it educate, or I like to call it with them, <laughs> what's in it for them. So how do you create demand and desire? How do you how do you solve the problem? And how do you solve the problem better than the competition? That's the USP or the unique selling proposition. So now you've grabbed their attention. They're like, yep, I have that problem and it sucks. And now with the educate part, you create demand and desire and you give them hope. They might be frustrated. They might be stuck. They might be out of ideas. And and we're here to help them. And how do we help them better than anybody else? So again, we're building even more curiosity. Now they're like, oh, I thought I, I thought I was doomed. But now there's opportunity here. And I, there's two main things in marketing. Either somebody has something that they don't want like a problem, a toleration, a pain point, or they don't have something that they do want. And that's the what's in it for them. And I like to break that down into results, benefits, and emotional changes or shifts. So by working with you, what results would they get? They get organized books, custom reports, insights into improving their business with Corinne and her bookkeeping, um, beautiful pictures that are treasured for decades with Anastasia. Um, so those are the, those are the main things. And then they're like, well, okay, I'm interested. How did it make a CTA, a clear, sp specific call to action that's irresistible and easy. Yes. There's urgency or or limited time offer, limited time or limited spots. You know, we can for for many of us, if we're providing a service, there's we can build out our team, but initially there's only limited spots available. Or if I'm offering free coaching, I can't do that all day, every day. And how do you make it special and and clear? So that's the call to action. Social proof is really helpful. So testimonials, success stories. And then you may consider overcoming objections. And the most common objections are limited time, limited money. And you want to dance with the objections. If you did have the money, what do you see as the outcome of us working together? So dancing, dancing with their objections and helping them get out of their own way. We talked earlier about when when we're trying something new, our brain's going to instantly come up with what could go wrong or why it won't work. So we need to coach potential clients or prospects into saying yes and getting what they want and working with the best, which is us, of course. Any questions on this part? Mm -mm. Awesome. Do you see the value in that versus, you know, I have two decades of experience and I have these certificates and this law degree and blah, blah, blah. Nobody, nobody, nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care. Bingo. As, bingo. So we talked about overcoming their objections and social proof. Other ideas that can help with your marketing is a, a money back guarantee. Or if you're not satisfied, we'll make modifications until you are. And then and then you can add your credibility, your experience, your knowledge, your education. Um, again, credibility, I think, comes most powerfully from stories, success stories. 
that are relevant to to your target market. And then I want to give some tips on marketing copy for websites. Look at that. Instant modification. <laughs> <laughs> so the about page, a lot of people get stuck because they don't want to brag about themselves. And that's something that's not really um, applauded in, in our society. But we want to make our about page really shine and, and show what we're good at, why we're better than the competition, um, who do we serve specifically. Um, so the way to do that is use phrasing such as our clients often comment on how, how powerful the coaching is. Sometimes they get reminded of things they already know, but they get reminded and it comes to the forefront of their mind. And just having a coach helps with accountability. Mm -hmm. So I could say that instead of me saying, I, pro I provide awesome accountability for my clients. I say, you know, seven out of 10 of my clients have positively commented on the value of accountability and moving forward and accelerating their process. So I love writing about pages like that. And it can, it can be you copywriting can be used for postcards, trifold brochures, websites, and our conversations. So these models serve us in a lot of different ways. And a model I came up with recently for service pages is fairly simple. And what I love about this is you can use chat GPT and say, I have a, I have a such and such business. This is my target market. This is what I help people. These are the problems I solve. This is what I help. Um, this is what's unique, special, different, and better. Um, please write a service page for this business that includes d the definition of what we do, who's it ideal for, what's a unique selling proposition, what are the problems solved, what's in it for them. And then this last point is related to overcoming objections. Like, well, I could just do it myself for free. And what are the perils of do it yourself? Why might you lose a bunch of time effort frustration <laughs> hair <laughs> and and mm -hmm. end up spending more if you try to do it yourself so everything that the customer journey takes can be put in a model like this 